Welcome to our quick pick of the day, focusing on boom maintenance for the Giant G5000 series loaders. I'm Brian with Giant North America. Today we'll cover key maintenance practices for the Z-Bar, Extra, and Tele configurations. We'll also highlight products that we recommend to keep your machine running and looking like new. Before starting, always prioritize safety. When working beneath the boom, ensure the safety bracket is securely installed. This will prevent accidental injury when working below the boom, a critical step outlined in the service manual. Always use caution around hydraulic components as well, and never verify a hydraulic leak using exposed skin. Proper lubrication is the foundation of boom maintenance. Clean grease will push out any dirt that finds its way into bearing seats and critical components on the boom. Key areas to grease include lift cylinders, tilt cylinders, and also pivot points for all configurations. Standard grease circ locations have been identified in the operator's manual and can visually be seen on the machine by locating the grease point sticker or a red dust cap. For the tele model, don't forget the telescopic cylinder and the tilt cylinder located inside the front of the boom. Use a high quality multi-purpose grease as recommended in the service manual to minimize wear and tear. Lubrication intervals are clearly outlined in the manual on page 249. The hydraulic system is the heart of your loader's boom. Daily walk-arounds before hopping into the driver's seat can identify leaks from loose or cracked fittings, damaged hoses, or worn components before they become a safety hazard. Keeping your boom clean prevents debris buildup and corrosion. After brushing excess dirt away, clean it with a degreaser and apply wax oil to the inner boom section. In high corrosion areas of the world, wax oil can also be applied to areas like weld seams, pivot points, and hydraulic cylinder housings to keep the rust away. For the G5000 Tele and every other telescopic boom in our lineup, greasing the sliding surfaces and inspecting the hydraulic system are the most important pieces of the puzzle. Using wax oil to help protect the arm's inner surfaces from rust and keep the inner and outer section sliding smoothly will reduce wear of components. There are sliding plates located on the boom that allow smooth telescopic operation of the boom. These plates need to be measured after the first 50 hours and at regular 500 hour intervals after that. They're easy to identify, they're easy to access, but don't forget about the two we have at the rear. By following these maintenance steps, you'll maximize the performance and lifespan of your machine. For detailed guidance, please refer to your operator and service manuals. For additional tips, please subscribe to our channel or reach out to us today.